These are the topics you should watch out if you create online courses with Skillshare because you're potentially risking that your account will be deleted permanently. Hey and welcome to my channel, I'm Daniel and Happy New Year 2022. Today is the 1st of January 2022 and my year couldn't have started better or worse, it depends on the eye of the viewer. I got an email this morning from Skillshare and they told me, hey, content strike and one of my classes was deleted. The thing is yesterday I uploaded my last class. This was a class about how to generate passive income. And in this class, I was basically teaching all the ways that I know how you can generate income with this. But I didn't look into the guidelines of Skillshare and they have actually a lot of things excluded from the platform where you are not allowed to talk about. And if you make a video, same like me, I was too lazy to look into it. And to be fair, there's actually a two-step system in the guideline. So if you go into the guideline from Skillshare, here class guidelines, you have a couple of different topics like for example video quality and what kind of uh, style you should do and also what kind of topics you're allowed to talk and under this one the permitted topics it actually it basically says topics about freelancers and entrepreneurs are allowed it doesn't say anything about passive income but if you click here on here you will get a more detailed list with all the topics you're not allowed to do. And I would just read that to you because that's super important and very important for the future for you so that you are not doing the same mistake like me because this whole class, I could have avoided the work and just focused on a different class. So number one is classes focused on passive income business strategies or amazing fast followers. Also those kind of things, you will get a strike immediately or classes about dating, romance and relationships. I did not know that, that was very interesting because I think some of them are very helpful. Number three, classes about teaching on another ed educational platform. So be very careful if you, for example, make a class telling people how to use Teachable. That's potentially not allowed and you would get a strike. Like I said, three strikes and your account is done. Number five, this is one that I could maybe understand, classes about medical content so that it's related to medical field. I understand that you don't want to risk on your platform that people give advice about medicine and then maybe people die because they do it wrong. So I understand that topic completely. And to back to number one, passive income strategies, I know that there are many money schemes. Like for example, hey, this is the tip how you can become rich fast. That, that you don't want to put this kind of stuff on your platform. In my opinion, if you have topics and classes for entrepreneurs, I think the passive income ones is actually very important because this is what, what I was thinking anyway, because if you, for example, if I would make a class about a, how you can create a block and part of the block, because it's a financial part, you're creating a block, you want to make money, right? As an entrepreneur or freelance, answer the ways you can make money is basically the stuff that I was talking about in my passive income stuff this would technically be allowed but now excluding this and just talking about what kind of strategies you could use that's not allowed so for me it's not clear it's in gray area maybe there's more to passive income that I don't understand yet and this is the reason why they put this in place but yeah be careful number six classes about mathematics standardizing testing physical and life science and number seven is very interesting because it excludes everything about religions spiritual spirituality and politics. If you make a course about meditation or why it's, it's mindfulness is important and it goes into spir spirituality, you could potentially get a content strike. Yeah, interesting. Number eight, classes about fitness and exercise. That was a big bummer for me. I understand that Skillshare is more about, or it feels more about the artistic side, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, drawing, but I know that in the internet, all the classes about fitness are usually very good. Maybe it goes into the same category, like number five, don't give wrong advice because then probably you would have a lot of uh, courses that maybe are not as good who knows and number nine is classes focused on pet care that's super interesting so anyway the point of this video is that you are not making the same mistake i got my first strike which i could have avoided if i was reading the guidelines more in detail but at the same time this video is now coming out because of that and also i learned something and i will now avoid those kind of topics in the future if you are interested in skillshare skillshare gave me a link where you can sign up and you get one month for free so there's still three of my classes online and my plan is to release another four actually four but because this one was not on i will make it five five classes so i have a total of eight classes but with this link when you go in and you sign up for skillshare you can watch everything in one month whatever you want so maybe start off the year and start learning some new skills that's it from me from this video i hope to see you in the next video if you like this video hit like subscribe ding a ding bang bang gong i'm daniel and see you soon bye